well. The personality, everything came out, and uh, people have now been clamoring for her to do this. She's now backed by popular demand. Uh, as I said at the top of the show, the the seven to my ten, Luciana Andrade, our old friend. There she is. Hello. What an intro. Yes. Oh, my God. You said that I had forgotten about you. You said that I don't want to talk well, to you, you anymore. Have. Well, here you are on the biggest well, platform there is. You only have, what, 37 shows now? Well, What's I'm going a, on? I'm a very busy person. You're neglecting our podcast? No, absolutely not. Just like you are a very busy person. Uh, since last time we spoke, no, I'm not. a lot has happened to you. You're now married. I am. I know, right? It How is the fun. married life? Good. It's been good. Not much has changed, but it's it's been lovely, yeah. Everyone says not much has changed, but a lot has changed. Because when you, uh, yeah, I mean, legally, sure. But you, when you when you already live with a person, it doesn't mm. change that much. Okay. If you go from, oh, I see double me right now. Oh. What's going on? Still? Uh, if you never live with, a, with your partner and then you get married, then sure, life changed you, right? Decision, right. But when when things are already look like a marriage then it doesn't change that much i always used to believe in that by the way do you still see double of yourself no now i see you and myself in the screen okay is that is that right guys is that what you're yeah, we're sending to? her program okay so yeah she's because seeing what youtube sees yeah oh, okay. be, and especially because uh we want you to see charles and charles to see you to help with the translation so you're not just hearing each other like last time so we're yeah the last time you were showing something to him <laughs> And then I totally translated wrong. Oh, really? <laughs> no one noticed. No one noticed, though. So. Okay. You were showing some dog dancing, and I was like, what dog? What the hell? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, you're right. No one did notice, um, or at least no one told us. But I always used to believe that I the was... Uh, yeah, there's only like one person from Brazil, Guilherme, who watches. But uh, I always used to believe that we... Uh, I would I would not get married... Like, I would not live with someone before getting married. But that's a very old-fashioned thing, so I'm happy... That you, uh, you yeah, adopted. it's very risky too. Yeah, because all <laughs> you of a sudden, need to know, like, yeah, it's weird. The weird things that we do when we live together, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do it. In so, my opinion. So, are you now uh, going by a different name? Do we have to change your? So your, your yeah, graphic? okay. So I said legally, but I, I haven't done it legally. Yet. Okay, <laughs> that's totally my fault. You know why? It's because I just can't decide on taking the last name or not. There's, there's this whole thing. So in Brazil, sometimes people take the last name. Sometimes it's a combination of both last names. Sometimes the kids, if you have kids, they take the mother's last name, right? It's not just like here in the U.S. It's this whole tradition where it's just the the, the husband's last mm -hmm. name. Uh, I do like my last name, but it is, uh, I struggle a lot whenever I speak to customer service here in the U.S. because it's such a long last name and they don't understand what I'm talking about. It's like, can you spell it? And then I'm going, Miss Mary, you know, right, right, right. and it never ends. So it's, it's, it's annoying for me to add another one. is just too complicated for me to remove my entire last name. I feel like, oh man, that's my identity, you know, but at the same time, it does make it easier to just get his last name, you know, I don't know. Okay. So because I can decide it, I just, uh, I guess I'm not legally married yet. <laughs> no, no, you are. And in uh, if you're from Quebec, uh, you're actually encouraged not to change your last name, by the way, which is where I'm from. You, oh, yeah? actually, you have to actually pay a lot to change because there's so many divorces that they don't want to go through the process of like rechanging back. So Yeah, there is that. Also, like changing all the documents. Uh, imagine yeah. like I have to... I'll get... I, I need to get a new passport. Uh, I'm, I'm going to... Um, become a citizen of the United States oh, yes. soon. Uh, but that's a, pro a process that's been going on for a long time, it's independent of him. But, um, and then I, I actually have my interview in like two weeks, a week and a half. Yeah. So anyways, eventually I'll get, hopefully knock on the wood, uh, uh, US passport. So then I have to change, if I change my name, I'll have to change my driver's license. I'll have to connect, uh, contact my bank. So it's all these things, it's annoying. By the way, what happened to your arm? Not that hard, but it's just like, huh? What happened to your arm? Oh, I went to, to the doctor. Oh, okay. Like blood. Okay. Yeah, blood work. I just came back from it. Is That's everything right. okay? Yeah, yeah, all good. I go every year. Okay, so. oh, like a checkup. Yeah, yeah, just checkup. Um, so we have Charles coming up. Uh, you're probably a little less anxious, a little, like now you're a veteran at this, right? Did you feel like you did good other than the dog? I'm not a pro yet. Okay. So it's, uh, you're, we're doing this at your risk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if people don't understand, that's not my fault. Uh, but yeah, yeah, sure. 
I'm more relaxed now for sure. Did anyone uh, reach out to you about other translator gigs since they saw you here? Any no, other, no, no. So, okay. which I guess it says a lot. Maybe I haven't done that much, that good of a job. Uh, I feel like you surprised a lot of people, and and I sensed really. Uh, I believe it's Fabiano, the uh, the UFC trans. Fabiano Busquet, yeah. Uh huh. I sensed some jealousy from him. Like he felt like you were encroaching. Like, was... Of course, yeah. Of course, oh, you felt that. We're from the same city, by the way. Oh, okay. He, I know Fabiano since I don't know 2009. Okay. I know him for a long time, and I I actually I'm gonna take the credit now because I was the one who actually introduced him to the UFC. No way, you are. <laughs> Yeah. How did that yeah. happen? So I know Fabian for a long time. And during COVID, he works to, uh, in the travel industry, right? And during the pandemic, nobody was traveling. Uh, there was this whole thing of like, am I going to lose my job or not? One time I'm working at the Apex and I don't remember who it was, but there was a Brazilian fighter. And because we had a limited uh, amount of people that could work inside the facility, um, they were using a corner to translate. And it was like a terrible translation. I started laughing because I was like, oh, my God, even I would be able to translate better than that. But, you know, uh, good for, for them. They, they they made it work anyways. But then I had a thing. I was like, oh, Fabian would be great for this. Like he at the time, he was already living in Vegas. He worked as a translator before. The guy speaks a million languages. And I was like, why not? He, at the time, had a green card. I think he's a citizen now. Um, I'm like, he would be perfect for this. So I I asked him. I said, hey, I think like you, you would be good for this job. And he was like, oh, my God, I would love. What can I do? And I was like, well, let me ask some people. I don't know. But they probably need it. They need it all the time, right? And since you were in Vegas, why not? Because Derek is the guy that used to do for UFC Brazil, yes. but he was living, he's living in Rio now. Uh, anyway, so then I spoke to Heidi, Heidi Dean, and she was like, yeah, we we always need it. You know, then she reached out, I guess, uh, I don't, it was one of the producers. And then Fabiano pulled up like his resume and I made the intro and then he went from that. To totally he's married, but I did the intro. Well done. <laughs> Well done. Yeah, uh, he's now like a fan favorite. Everyone loves him now. But I was just saying, like, I felt I a little jealousy. They call him the GOAT. Yes, the GOAT. <laughs> but I felt like when you came on to translate so well for Charles, he was feeling some sort of way about it. Am I wrong? You know why? It's because he is a big fan of you. Ah. And he's been wanting to go to your show. So I guess he was trying to get your attention. But yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> he, he, tra he translates better than I do. Now it all definitely. makes sense. Um, yeah. Charles is going to join us in a few minutes. But you were in Nashville this past weekend. I was. What did you make of the crowd? I Weren't was. they so rude at the end there? I felt they were very rude. What did you think? Uh, no, I wouldn't say rude. I guess every time a fight, you know, it's it's ultimately, you know, on the floor and there's not much movement, which we get it from, you know, from the fighter's perspective. Uh, I guess people, they were so used to having, you know, the fights going that eventually they were like, oh, man, I, I was hoping this was going to be a you know, a fire uh, main event. And, but no, I, I thought they were, they were so nice. I love the city. Okay. And the people were super nice. Yeah. That was a good answer. It was very good. It was <laughs> very cool. political. Yes. Yes. Very <laughs> political answer. Did you like the city? It's a great city. A lot of, uh... I did. It was my first time there. Yeah, I did. I went out one night and, and went to a couple bars. It's crazy. The amount of talent they have there for, for music. Oh yeah. I so mean, good. Country music. Yeah, but no, but even like people singing on the streets. So oh. When I was checking in at our hotel, there was a girl singing. And I, was, I thought for a second, I thought it was like just, you know, some playlist because that's how well she was singing live. And then I saw, oh my God, so impressive. Uh, did you do when karaoke? You a lot of karaoke bars there? No, I wish. Mm. Nobody invited me. Nobody wow. Invited me. Not even Danny Rubenstein? You didn't? Oh, no, I actually saw Danny Rubenstein. First night? Yeah, that's when he sent you that picture. <laughs> Manager to the stars, Danny Rubenstein. Uh, did you, yeah, while you were working the event, did you watch the Jake Paul Nate Diaz fight to see how your friend Ariel was doing on the no, broadcast? You didn't do his double did screen. Not. Wow. Why not? No, no I did not. Because I'm, I'm focused on my job. You know, I don't. <laughs> I don't look at the the, the the competitor. Oh, not even after? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, it was actually, it was during the fights, right? Yeah, and then after the that, I was hungry. I was starving. <laughs> so I went back to the hotel, dropped my stuff, and then I was trying to find a place, me and Christy, and then, you know, ate a pizza that I saw online later. Who oh, was. okay. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the support. Um, and uh, when is, when oh, is the... congratulations. Well, thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, when is the next one for you? This week. Oh, you're Apex. back. And then, I have Boston. and then I have Boston. Yeah, there's going to oh be my three gosh. weeks. 
a row of Nia UFC screens. Three weeks in a row, especially because <laughs> uh, you, I guess you missed a few at the beginning of the summer, right? Because of the wedding and all. Yeah, that. I was. No, it's because because of the wedding. I asked them to to you know book me right. on a bunch of flights in a row, so I would have that gap. And then I spent almost two months, yeah, without without working for UFC at least. Are you happy that you get to go to the Apex after being in a sold out arena with all the crowd and crazy? I actually, I, I don't understand the hate for the Apex. <laughs> I, I like it. It's so convenient. Yeah, for that's us, the thing. Least. It's so convenient. It's so easy. But it's if... so easy. It's a 45 minute flight. We don't have the weigh-ins for, for me to work, right? And then I get there on Friday. Like, for example, this Saturday, it ends super early. So I get to fly back right after. It's oh, like, wow. So easy. Yeah, I love those fights. <laughs> yeah. It's just like the the environment, you know, like it's not like you watch the crowd. Well, I guess here I am complaining about but the booze. That, but... No booze at the Apex. I never drink. No, 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 not booze. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You thought I meant booze like alcohol? Oh, no, booze. The booze. Like people yeah. booing. Yeah. <laughs> you said, hey, uh, I'm a foreigner. <laughs> yes, yes. But that's weird that you would think of booze as in like the slang term oh, for alcohol. that's how my brain is. Wow. <laughs> Golly, <laughs> that might be a problem if you're thinking booze. Uh, my point was, well, I'm complaining about the I'm crowd, complaining. and 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 at the apex, you don't have booing. Well, you do have actually the 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 people that go there. They they can get pretty loud. I guess it's just the volume of people is not the same, so you don't hear it when you're watching from home. But when we're there, we we see some action. Okay, fair enough. Like good job round two, good job round one. <laughs> that's well, what I hear. That's what you hear. <laughs> Yeah. You hear that? You actually can hear the people talking to you? Yeah. So there is this group of guys. They're always there. And I'm like, are you rich? <laughs> <laughs> always there. Wait, they're always I'm at the saying, apex? They always go to the apex. Always at the apex. It's always the same group of guys. Oh and gosh. whenever <laughs> they're like, we drop Brooklyn. Amazing performance. Wow. <laughs> we just laugh, obviously. Like, yeah, because those joking. tickets are like $2,000 each, right? I don't know. Is it? Yes, they're insanely or maybe, expensive. May, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but yeah, it's they they have the uh, the VIP experience. Depending, I don't know if every ticket's like that though. But it's it's a pretty cool uh, setup for a fan, I guess, because you're so close to the octagon. You right. see the the you know everything is right there. You know the people, the talent. It's it's fun. Did you have FOMO because you missed International Fight Week? Because that's the big one with all the meeting greets. Did you feel like you were missing out? I always do this week, this year I haven't because I was just like, it was really the week of the wedding. So right. I, was, I, I was not even watching. I didn't, I don't even know who fought on that weekend. That's how crazy. Wow. It was for me don't say that in I public. So, <laughs> no, no, but like nothing personal. It's just because I had three days of events. I was involved in the planning and, you know, right. it was overseas, jet lag, family around. Uh, we have, you know, 75 people with us. So yeah. I was not watching the fights this time. <laughs> Anyone at the wedding say, uh, how come Ariel's not there or ask why there wasn't an empty seat in my honor? Were there any questions about that? Any concerns, anything of that yeah, sort? Yeah, someone asked like, what, what happened with that guy, that Jewish guy? Oh, wow. The Jewish guy? That's not very nice. <laughs> I'm kidding. The big no, nose guy? No, no one asked. No, no one asked. No, but they did ask, why is Bruce Buffer not here? <laughs> <laughs> he was the one that got the question. Bruce, Bruce recorded a, an intro for us, introducing the bride and groom. Oh, Very wow. nice of him. <laughs> yeah. So the people thought it was like, oh, is he here? Why is he not here? And then I was like, no, oh, it's International Fight Week. You know, right. a lot of people from the are working. Da, da, da. Do you think he yeah. would have uh, showed up if he wasn't working? Do you think he would have? I think, I think maybe he would have. Because I was talking to him. We we always catch the same flights because he lives in LA. Bruce is lives in the neighborhood here okay um and we were just chatting he said to me he's never been to italy surprisingly mm. so uh i think he would have yeah but it was it was also the week of fourth of july so it was very complicated for the people that had to work do, do you ever see bruce uh, doing his outdoor workouts i see him on instagram doing like these outdoor workouts outside his garage do you ever see i that? never saw i, I mean I, I watch it on his uh instagram but no i'm not in person i one thing is I, I work out at Gold's Gym here in Venice and they have a a, a, a photo of Bruce. Oh, wow. There. I, think was, I think he used to work out there before um, the pandemic. And then since I guess he has a personal trainer or something. Those workouts are intense for a guy who, I don't know how old he is, 50s, 60s? 60s, 60s, wow. I think. 60s. Yeah, no, but he looks good. Yeah, he yeah, looks Bruce tremendous. Is, 
Way better than yeah, me. No. By the way, isn't Gold's Gym the gym like where the, you know. Schwarzenegger. Well. Works out. What, yes. what were you trying to say? No, no, no. Like that's where like Are the hard, hardcore people go there. Like the the, the big. You bu- see all sorts of people there. Like literally all. all but isn't sides. that like where like the, <laughs> the, the like the super serious you bodybuilders. Have, it's, it's, so it's. Yeah. So it's a. Me- it's the mecca of bodybuilding. I think oh. that's how we. Uh, yeah. Uh, you definitely see people that are, are pros and they work out so many hours. It's like, oh my God, how do you do this? Yeah, some people are huge, huge, you know, guys and girls. Uh, I am, I'm not on that section. I'm like the the unprofessional ones that just show up occasionally. <laughs> I would feel super intimidated going to a place like that. That's what, that's what I mean. I, no, it's inspiring. Oh, really? It's actually inspiring because you're like, God damn, I want to, you know, I, I like her arm or, you know, for guys it's like, oh, right. I want to have the body. Yeah. yeah, not me. I want to go to a place where they're less impressive than you're I am. You're a germaphobe. You would never <clears throat> go to that gym. I go to gyms all the time. It's just, uh, I don't want to go where people are like, I feel like they're critiquing me at the corner of their eye. Like, oh, look at his oh. form. Look at what he's doing. No, no one cares about it. We think care. that, but I, I don't know. I don't think people are paying that much attention. No? We Yeah, we always, no. Mm-mm. They're just minding their own business. It's probably because I'm very thing. famous, so people are always looking at me now, like, hmm, maybe. Oh, you're so famous. People are <laughs> yeah. stopping to take pictures of you. I saw it on, uh, where did you go, Ireland? Oh, that was something. Fly- yeah, that was something did else. You, what a did time. Did you fly private? Uh, private, I wish. I've never flown private. Have you flown private? No. No, i never done no, that. I'm poor. No. I'm poor. I don't make that much money. Like, those articles, they're all there. <laughs> it's a <turn> on <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> um. But I was going to ask you, did you see that article I sent you about hotels not changing oh, the no. sheets? Yes. How do you feel about that now that, that you have to travel so much because you're so famous? Well, you, you like to send me these things about like uh, pimple popping, about uh, sheets not being washed. Those are, I told you, those are very, uh, you know, they're relaxing. Yeah. Uh, also about the uh, the bins at the airports being the most uh, disgusting Oh, they're the things. most now disgusting Now I can't stop thing thinking about ever. that. I'm wiping down well, my bag afterwards. Are you going to wear gloves? Are you going to be wearing gloves? Ugh, when it's you a mess. Travel now? It's a mess. Let's Go not talk about it because my my palms are getting sweaty just talking about this. It's making me uncomfortable. 